Organic Mike here. All right, check this out. We're doing a seed count for the Moringa Alifaria. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that one right. It's the Miracle Tree. That's easy to say. So just uh, get on the internet and search the Miracle Tree. Or you can go to OrganicMike.com and you can uh, get on the video section of that website and see a lot about how I'm growing this tree in Texas. So like I was saying yesterday when I was showing you my seed tree, I'm going to get a seed count. Well it's still producing seed and I went and harvested some of these pods today. I harvested that one yesterday. This one aver averaged about uh, 23 seeds, 22. Some of them were smaller. You can see some smaller ones there. And then I harvested some about a month ago, and that one had, I don't know, that was probably two seed pods or one. There might be 40 seeds in there. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to count these pods and then count the seeds in each pod and get an average for what this tree is producing. So, so I can get kind of an average of what each tree will produce over the year's period here in Texas. And what's cool is these things are real easy to open up. Look at this. And you just rip off the top part and you can see this is not the one of the bigger pods that I've harvested but you can get an idea you know some of them are longer some of them are fatter like this one but what's really cool is I got a tree right on the back porch with seed pods at least as long as two of them like that so that should be a 30 seed producer or, or whatever, but it'll be interesting to see. So I'm getting pretty excited here. I planted these last year, 2010, April 11th, and it's September 26, 2011, a little over a year later, and uh, we had a hard freeze last year, and they survived with me, you know, doing a little bit of putting hay bales around them, that kind of stuff. Some of the seeds are crooked. Another thing that's cool about these seeds that I discovered yesterday is they have these little wings on them and they can stand up like a tripod. So you can look here and they stand up on their own here. You can look at them pretty cool. But what I noticed is, is when you take them and you, if let's say they fell out of the tree naturally in a group they were separating yesterday when they fall out see they separate themselves a little bit so it's kind of like wings on an airplane so when they fall out of the tree maybe they separate just enough so they can build a little uh, colony of moringa trees but there you go I don't know how many I got here but I'll I'll let you know and I'll give you a seed count and an average so we got 28 pods all shapes and sizes here I'm pretty excited about this project so there's 28 pods I'm going to bust them open I've already done one and get a seed count and an average out what my production is and what's really cool is the view my back porch. It's my six acre property. So this is a view I get from the my office and my couch, my studio, minus the broken golf cart there. I'll get that running one of these days. Water wells chugging right there to the right. Got cannas. Happy kittens. And a low battery on the camera. But even cooler, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a moringa tree producing seed for me. Right back there. 
Trust me, it's right there. Well, I'm gonna get to counting. 28 pods, and I'm hoping to average at least 15 seeds per pod, which I'm hoping the count's higher than that. So, and this is all from one tree, and I probably have 13 more to 15 more pods to harvest just from this one tree this year. So, I could get 40 pods per tree a year, hopefully. Okay. All right, I'm back. I was guessing about 15 seeds average per pod. There's the Moringa tree pods. It's kind of cool how they do that. So I was guessing about an average of 15. Well, I was one off, it was 14. So what we got here is I counted all the seeds and I actually found two more pods. So I actually had a total of 30 pods that I, and these are the pods here that um, I pulled the seeds from. And I got a total, I got 30 pods, total of 420 seeds, which averaged out when you divide 30 into 240, 14 seeds per pod. I was really close. I thought it was gonna be 15. But the cool thing is, is that tree's still producing and I'll probably get 15 more pods off that tree easy. That's just one tree now. So, that gives me 210 more seeds with a total of 630 seeds per tree per year. So, that's just what I'm getting here in Texas under a drought condition. Of course, I've been watering it a lot, but what would they do in better soil with more water? Now, let's put this in perspective. I planted one tree, one seed, okay? I took one of these, put in the ground, and that's going to give me 630 of these. So, what, let's, let's do the math on that. That's the first year. So let's go up here. One seed planted created all that. Then that's not to mention, you can eat the leaves on the tree. You can still eat the baby green pods that look like green beans, except they're a foot long instead of an average of four inches long to six inches long like a green bean would be. But all this right here came from one seed. And I could plant 630 of these seeds. That's what I was trying to do on the calculator. 630 times 630 by next year, I'll have 300, almost 400,000 seeds, okay, if I planted all these and harvested them, just like I did this year. So in two years' time, you could have 400,000 seeds, and in the third year, if you had the time to, you could have easily 500,000 Moringa trees in the ground producing seeds so let's do that let's let's clear this off 500,000 put some more zeros on there that's a pretty big number one two three yep five zero 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 bear with me here times I don't think you could see that. 630 equals, yeah, that's over uh, 31 million seeds. Yeah, that's a lot. No, 315 million seeds, sorry. Keep me away from numbers. But anyway, um, that's just something cool. So in two years, you can have 400 over 400,000 seeds and if you could find the time to plant those trees that would be that'd be awesome too but you can eat the tree they flower year round you can look at my past videos on the moringa tree they flower they bring in the good pollinating bees they bring in all types of flying uh, hummingbirds 
the hummingbird moth. I don't know if you've ever seen that. That's um, a big flying moth that looks like a bee, but it's got a really long tongue. They just, they're, they're just good for everything. They smell good. Um, they can handle wet feet, drought, full sun. They will grow in shade, but they won't grow as well. They'll, they'll really it stunts the growth. They like full sun. So anyway, there we go. One seed in the ground gave me 300 and, uh, sorry, 630 seeds. So I'm going to make it a goal to plant 630 trees next year and see what I get. Now I won't have a you know 100% germination so even if I got 200 trees or you know 20 trees that's still a good deal. OrganicMike.com subscribe if you like.